Okay, YouTube. Um, I would like to tell y'all that that's this is it for me with Legends for the next like few months, probably until anniversary, and then I still might decide if I want to come back. Um. I'm gonna just get straight to the point. This meta sucks. This is the worst I have felt the game has ever been. Um, usually I say like I'm quitting and then you know take like a day or two off. The whole game is not even on my phone no more. I can't I can't play it no more. I have all the units in the world that I can you know well that I can get you know and and play with. Um, it's just. The meta is not fitting my playstyle, and you ever heard of you know if you don't like it, don't don't buy it or don't play it. I'm not gonna play it, cause I love this game and I sh I like talk shit, but I'm enjoying the game at the same time. It's mainly because of this dude. Him, it's not fun. Um, I in the middle, of, you know. Up until last week, I was actually nearing um to soon be God rank. Um, I was like, I was aiming to be God rank, not like be like I was like on the borderline, but you know I did start out the season like right there. Um, it's just this one character, him, Gohan. Let me um make it to where it's um a new tab. It, it, what, what was they thinking? What was they thinking? Like, who allowed this to get past testing? Um, Gohan is, he's the most frustrating character I've ever had to play on Dragon Ball Legends, and I played through the Vegito Blue meta with him and Kefla. I played through, uh, Ultra Gogeta meta. Um, I, you know, we just fresh off the, uh, Goku Frieza meta, um, they was annoying. Uh, I played through all of the Gohan metas, you know, super, what did it, um, um, uh, uh, FSK first release, FSK Zenkai, I played through Yellow Gohan, I played through Purple Gohan, we, I played through Beast Gohan, none of them was not as bad. As this bum right here. Okay. You know, they had some fun cattywampus mechanics, you know. Ooh, uh, FSK Ooga Booga, Ooga Boogas you and, and takes no damage, you know. He, he, he could Ooga Booga you. You know. It has, you know, that's, that's, it's not fun, but at the same time, you know, you could take it away. Right. Um, Yellow Gohan, his lock-in. Okay, that's annoying. He has a green card, that's AoE. Okay, that's annoying. He can force draw a blue card, you know, back in the day. That was a big deal. And they do damage. It actually still probably does a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage, but it can do damage still now. Um, none of that is comparable. Um, what it was, Purple Gohan, I think he had an AoE green card. He had an AoE green card that nullified your endurance. And, um, and he was very annoying because how fast the green card was. But at the same time, you can beat him because there was actual ways to beat him, you know? If you stop the green card, you can do... A follow up or something, right? Um, the way how this meta works right now, it's so counterintuitive of actual how the game is supposed to be played or used to supposed to be played. I don't even know the word for it. How the game used to play, okay? You had your strike and your blast cards. This game right now segregates you. Like the strike users, the strike card users, you know, um, you know, people that really enjoy 
you know, going head first in with a strike card. And I understand that, you know, not all the time you're supposed to strike card, strike card, strike card. You know, you're supposed to play it smart. But with Gohan, you throw all your options out the way. Okay? If you combo him, you might as well go ahead and just, like, you, you might as well just hope to God that you can draw all the blast cards in the world. You draw a strike card, you get hit with a blue card, okay? Now, here's my biggest grievances with this. He can do this three times. And, yes, yes. People can go, oh my god, it's three times. You know, I feel like those people who have Gohan, alright? I'm the person that thought, you know, like, it's to the point where I had to start running UVB to steal blue cards and, like, and greet out a strike card to, like, get his uh, gauge down. But it, it, it just not, it just wasn't working, alright? Like, I was stuck to using only one team that can really stop gohan and it barely works most of the time because of the way how my team is built okay um i can say that i have strong equipments on them i have fairly strong equipments and they just couldn't really stop gohan because of how broken he is um i'm still not even really getting to the point on why i'm done but i'm gonna get there I'm just, this is like the longest intro, but let me just get straight to it. Gohan has a blue card counter like Namek Goku, an AoE green card like the previous, uh, like the previous, uh, su Super Saiyan 2 Gohans. Um, he has a new mechanic that is a Blast Armor, uh, nullifier, which can stop Blast Armor. In concept, it sounds cool, and I wanted something like this, but at the same time, I do not like that it comes with an ultra like Gohan, right? This is a mechanic I want to be character specific, but not on characters like Gohan, you know? Um... I just want to throw it out there, you know, the previous, like, few mechanics, Legends actually tested it, you know, on, like, niche characters to see how well does this work. Like, um, like, Blue Tien with the anti-Russian ru Rising Rush mechanic. Or, um, who else had it? Like, well, I can't really say the Tag Switch. The tag Switch is, I feel like, is deemed a really premium uh, mechanic but Gohan has AoE he has two different types of counters he has a strike counter when you're comboing him I think me personally I am tired of that already because every unit I can say besides UI UI is already annoying I'm gonna get to him too but I like UI's um, mechanic a little bit more but at the same time, I wish that it wasn't so spammy, you know? Like, he can get out of a combo and you have no vantage gauge, but he still has part of his vantage, like, his gauge left where he could dodge one more attack. And that's annoying. But go on. I already lost track of it. He has... Hey, oh yeah, the blue card, not blue card, the green card locks in, and I think it takes, his blue card takes away key when he hits you, or oh, is that, uh, Goku? I forgot whatever it was, oh, it draws a new card and stuff, this, this right here is the most annoying thing, but that's not even that, I have a lot of grievances with a lot of, um, these new mechanics that Legends is implementing on characters, and I really feel like it's very toxic right now. What I deem is very toxic is this. Y'all might think this is nothing, but this is something. Okay? Um, 
what else is very what else is really toxic it is the new me newish mechanic that started with ultra vegeto blue but they have a new version of it um if i can find it this man has the longest goddamn passive in the mud of like bro this is bro this is the longest passive ever um i need to find it but i can't find it it is this my bad it is this okay i am not the biggest fan of this when a, when you use a strike or blast card i am not the biggest fan of it um i prefer you to be able to like you come in with the cover null and that's it you know you can you have to play the game gohan is the way how gohan plays is not fair because his green card does not really count as a striker blast card right so what he does is he sits there floats around and wait for a, you to either do something and he either a counters you with a uh, a blue card or he just swipes and he gets a green card off now i'd be like okay that's annoying number let me see that's number one number two it locks you in for three timer counts okay so you're already locked in and you can't really switch so you have to take an ass whooping number three is that when you're finally able to switch he still has this up right so you can't really switch and then every character now drops in and they have cover no let start so every character like if you try to switch everybody just draws a card from you switching and gets free cover no and and here's the next part that i'm not in, i'm going to bring up it's the way how teams are being formed usually you know everybody wants was like you know um yeah ultra should be run together ultra should be run together i enjoy that when ultras were like they you know they were the they're, 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 they're the meat of the table but they're not overwhelmingly too overwhelming you know i can say it started becoming overwhelming with uh rose when rose actually i take that back gogeta was an annoying menace ultra gogeta um what made him so broken was his lock-in when somebody dies that's when somebody dies i feel like most ultra gogeta users actually had to play well because you had to get green card to get cover null you know so you can actually still have to play the game until you have a green card that's what i like about ultra gogeta that's why i felt like you know he did a lot of ooga booga damage but at the same time somebody had a tanky team you actually had to play the game smart with him and then uh who was next ultra kaioken he was very annoying because of his strike locks that's when like i feel like they started testing out weird stuff i didn't really like him i did not enjoy playing against him because of that but when he that was mainly because he was on boost when he got off boost he died like he's still dead like dead in the water and then ultra vegeto when he actually had a counter but you had to perform an action to get his counter off uh you had to time it really well and his counter actually rewarded you for being smart you know sometimes it was like a knowledge check right why would you tap blast a uh, vegeto when he has his gauge up and you know you will I think that's when they had to implement uh, quick attack to, you know, stop that, you know. I feel like that was actually kind of annoying sometimes if I think about it now. But I rarely got hit with it because e either A, you catch somebody, like, jumping around and you can punish them with it. Or, you know, you can dash up or whatever. But it's still, it was still annoying. I'm not going to, like, fault it broly uh he had his everything counter for like two times where he can literally stop green cards alts blue cards whatever besides rising rush 
That's annoying. And then he had the gauge that builds up and destroys everybody's card and removes their vanish. I thought that was annoying, but if we was in a Super Vegito meta and Super Vegito kind of shredded through him, and then I think that's when Cooler dropped. So Cooler, you know, shredding through him and Vegito because he's type neutral and he does more damage against Super Sans and all of that. Whatever. I'm getting there. Y'all be like, what is he yapping about? I'm getting there. I'm the, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, who else came out next? Gogeta. This is when stuff. This is when Ultra started getting ridiculous. Gogeta, instead of Broly, um, I they 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 gave Gogeta everything. Yeah, type neutrality on green card, cover no, and he draws a blue card. Um, I think he had double ultimate. Or am I tripping? No, 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 no. Actually, does he have double ultimates? I it's I have yet to pull him, but I've played against Ultra Gogeta more than any other character in the game, and I'm still playing against him to this day. So I okay. This is what this is what's annoying right here. He had this damage, 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 damage card draw speed. He had double card draw speed around 60 timer count. You never really got to that, but I'm not gonna lie, Gogeta was dragging the games out due to all his healing and... Okay, this is what I'm talking about with Gogeta. He punishes you for playing the game. Broly punishes you for attacking him too much. And yes, that's annoying. He takes away your gauge, you have to switch, right? Like... You can, you know, if you time Broly right, you, if you play around him, you can, like, stop him from, you know, just actually, like, you know, doing stuff. It's annoying, but Broly, I think his lack of damage made up for it, right? Like, he could have ooga booga you, but he can beat you down and make you switch, right? Gogeta, on the other hand, this. Wait, no, 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 no. This right here is annoying. This is annoying, but I'm not going to talk about that yet. You know, most characters have that. It's this right here. Um, with unique gauges for counter, uh, to counter enemy blasts for most range attacks. Activates three times, okay? But you have to beat them down to, like, get it off, right? You can't do anything for real. Um, he literally just sits there and you have to play the waiting game with him and he destroys your strike cards right if you fill up the gauge so this right here this is annoying right what made him what made gogeta very annoying is this this specific part the blue card counter, ooh, you get a free blue card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bullshit. This is annoying. He restores 30% health when the gauge is full. Cover, he goes type neutral and nullifies in special cover change. He has two different ways of special uh, nullifying cover change. And this, yes, this is annoying. He does it three times. And I tell y'all, and I tell y'all right now, this right here is annoying, because this is when, um, um, damn, Future Gohan was still around for a long ass time. I'm thinking this is when Future Gohan Beast and Pan, yeah, Future Gohan Beast and Pan was still a thing. So, uh, me trying to run Future Gohan... And getting this popped off and Gogeta tanking my juiced up ultimate pissed me off so many times. But what made Gogeta annoying is that he had that and he has this. But damn, I lost it. He has the gauge and he has universal cover change. That's already what makes him annoying. And that's what makes him annoying. But that's besides the point with Gogeta. And that's history lesson. <laughs> okay, next after Gogeta, Hit. Hit, I believe, 
actually took some type of skill. I have not been using them because, number one, there hasn't been any yellow units to really care about besides the gammas. And I rarely played against the gammas enough to be like, oh my god, I must consider hit to be a red unit on my team. Ooh. You know? Um... This he is a fun unit. I can say he's actually quite a balanced ultra, but he does have a broken ability, which is the time skip, which you know freezes everybody, and he does ooga booga damage, ooga booga damage, and um you know it's a free guaranteed one shot. It kills. It's not like a it gets you to one percent. It actually kills you, and um I think. Oh yeah, this right here. This is my favorite thing is you know he gets cover noil. That's actually quite fun and he charge unique gauge. Um, yes, it is broken when he's in time skip, but to play him you actually have to work with him. Some people just play lame and they just sit there, but to get hit to work you have to um you have to build you have to build him up. I think you have to use cards too. Or unless I'm tripping, unless you have to wait. Or is it when this character enters the field, activates twice? Yeah, yeah, you have to build up the damage. Okay, that's fun. I actually like hit. Not, I mean, I am a hit user in every game, but still, but still, no bias in this, no bias in this. I think hit is actually a balanced unit. Uh, I think what made him go down was the prevalence of blue units, such as beasts. And I think that's why he had the, you know, blue mechanic. But that's what's up to point. Next, uh, I'm going to speedrun this. Rose is a steamroll monster. Um, he is a green card, blue card merchant. That thing, this is when Ultras really started getting ridiculous, ridiculous. Because uh, Rose, before they started adding all this, like, cancel buffs, all this bullshit, I really started to not enjoy it. I really wish that it was more character specific, right? Um, instead of like just being handed out to every unit, but I guess that's the same thing that people said about uh, card draw speed, but that's besides the point. Rose, with his green card, he draws a strike in a blue card, and I think he has sustained damage, but he takes away from sustained damage so he can hurt you a lot, and he has bleed and paralysis. Yay. Um, and. It, I think it takes like 10 cards for him to be able to get the cover null, I think, but Rose actually, like, he hurts because if you switch against him, he actually took a little bit of skill because he had to force you to switch. That's what's his main gimmick, so he can have a uh, double card draw speed, and, you know, he keeps stacking and keep going because when he hits you, he resets the combo, and I think he gains a damage buff, uh, like the androids, so... That's the fun part about him, but at the same time, he did, like, really, really hurt a lot, but he was ridiculous. People trying to downplay him now because he doesn't work in this meta because, number one, this bum is still a thing, and him strike card, strike card, strike card does not work anymore. His blue card, I feel like, can work against him and him, and actually pretty much any of these units over here, that's, like, here, but... It's just not really a thing to really care about no more when everybody is lowering damage of characters unless they're the Ooga Booga characters. And Rose does not have the mechanics to fight against that right now. So, yeah. Uh, who ca else came out? Uh, UVB. No need to really talk about UVB. He has anti... Anti endurance rising rush. Oh yeah, that's what else would go. That's what else with Gogeta. He lived. That's why I remember uh, the puddle situation. Anti endurance on rising rush. Okay, that is not fun. That is not fun. Um, UVB has anti endurance. He has a way to get a free combo. If you start out with somebody else, you swap and you switch to him. He takes away their vanish. They can't do anything. Unless you're Gohan. Yes, this is... I'm getting there. I'm... 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I don't think I forgot. I'm getting there. UVB, um, he has, he started the whole new wave of cover no on entry. I'm, when Vegito dropped, I thought to myself, hey, is Vegito, ha 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 ha, you know, um, ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga, ooga booga, uh, oh wow, it was 30 counts? Wow, I did not know that. I really thought it was like 15, what was 15 timer counts then? Wow, I I really did not know that. I really thought it was like 20 to 15. Um, okay, okay. This. Yes, this, which is like, okay, he go ooga booga, ooga booga you. Um, he is strike card, strike card. Um, what else? Strike card even more, and then strike card again into another strike card. And don't forget he strike cards some more. But here's where stuff starts getting ridiculous so vegeto has 150 base the previous ultra oh kid boo kid boo is annoying i refuse to like i use kid boo because why not but kid boo is a huge down it's like the worst ultra of 2020 um 2023 i don't care i number one kid boo did not have a team all year until now, um, I mean, he has sell, uh, the sales that drop, but really, you consider that a team? He, no, mm -mm. he didn't have a team all year for real. Um, he has this is the previous ultra 110, 150. No other, no other damage buffs for real besides this when his gauge is up. When Kid Buu's gauge is up, I feel like he is an absolute behemoth, uh, or oh, an animal, a, a dirty dog, a, 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 a demon, a, a, a face destroyer. But, this, this is annoying. This right here, I can see why people thought Kid Buu was the most broken thing since FSK for, like, uh, 30 minutes. <laughs> But the thing about this is, um, you know, Kidaboo kind of died off when we kind of got into the meta where people were taking away your buffs and lowering card draw speed everywhere. So, actually, can he get card draw speed lowered? I don't really think so. This annoying. He has endurance, which is cool, but, um, he was... I think one of the first units to really start having this, this nullify uh, anti-endurance stuff for the counter Gogeta, but, cause, uh, yeah, he swaps, no, he, yeah, he swaps his blasts into strikes, yes, he is literally the Gogeta counter, but Gogeta is still relevant, relevant? Gogeta is still the more relevant unit, and he's still not running shit, he's more of like, the, 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 the third man, you know, if you need a, a trusty reliable, you will probably go Gogeta right now. If you have them, high stars. But and this is annoying. Yes, Kib Kibu. Oh, and he had lock in a uh, blue card if your gauge is up. That was fun, but that doesn't work anymore. So Kid Boo literally is the worst ultra of 2023. Hit can also suffer from the Gogeta curse. Um, if your Gogeta's gauge is up and you're in time skip, Gogeta gauge will still destroy Hit's cards and kind of like messes up what you're trying to do. I just wanted to let y'all know that. This is I still hate Gogeta Blue. I am a Gogeta fanboy to life and death, and I still I would I would never summon on Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta's banner unless like one day they say, "Hey, Ultras are getting Zenkai's," and I go, "Woo, we well, yeah." Yay! Yay! Whatever. But back to Goji. Uh, back to Vegito. Uh, he has too many mechanics. This is when they started like adding too much stuff. Uh, this is during the Dragon Ball update. I'm actually regretting them doing this. I never really asked for them to nerf Dragon Balls. I asked for them to nerf Ryzen Rush. Or, like, the actual damage on Rise and Rush, or the time restriction on it. Give it a time restriction. At least 
45 timer counts. Give me a chance to actually have a game. Because now, I'm actually, I was actually relying on Rising Rushing with Vegito because of this mechanic. Uh, his anti-endurance on Rising Rush. And I hate f having to feel like I have to rely on that. But, um, it's not much you can do against Gohan. And you have to just either rush him or you just gonna have to do damage to somebody else because... Yeah, right here. And applies the following effects when this character activates Rising Rush. Key recovery, increase the Dragon Ball, nullify unfavorable elements. Nullify health when they zero. And then when he kills somebody, this is my favorite part about him. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This is my favorite part about Vegito when he can, like, solo you. But, um, this is also, like, kind of very annoying. Uh, he seals your Rising Rush. Oh, yeah, he seals your... That's like, I'm actually a fan of that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because I hate being rushed, but I also hate rushing people at the same time. So, you know, uh, you know, if you're last man, y'all both having a stare off. Somebody can't just rush you at the start. So, you actually, get, they have to play you. They have to play you for the the timer. But, you know, he can counter you. He draws a blue card, blah, 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 blah. Vegito's counter is kind of hard to get off, but it's not hard to get off, but it's hard to get off at the same time. You feel me? But it's still easy if somebody's just mashing, but still. Um, besides the point, Vegito has a lot of mechanics that started off the train. The drop-in with Clover Null, that is annoying. But he also has um, the effect where... When he resets his gauge, he gains more cover null. So that's why Vegito was Vegitoing, you know? But, and that's it. Um, Ultra Janemba, I hate this unit with all my heart because why would you release a blue Ultra after the red Ultra? But at the same time, they did have a yellow Ultra and then a red Ultra come out. And, but then Rose was around, so. You know, Rose was able to... Oh, yeah. Here's when the candy started really aggravating me. This is why I stopped using Rose for a while. Because... Um... For some reason, Janemba just... <gasps> Boy. And Janemba pissed me off, bro. Janemba pisses me off. Um... Janemba... I'm not even gonna... I don't care about any of this shit. Like, this is basic. Whatever. Whatever. This is what's annoying. You can't reduce his key, which is cool, you know. Add some unique stuff to a character. Cool. I think it's annoying, but at the same time, I can see the reason for it because Pan and, 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 you know, I feel like, you know, uh, who else dropped around that time? The purple, not purple, uh, I said purple. Ooh, Ginyu, um, uh, the Gohan, the 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 green bait, the green Super Saiyan Gohan from the Cell Banner, he reduces key, I think, or something like that. Um, this is actually quite annoying. So, the following effects occur when this character enters the field, draws a card when you have to do a fewer, restores key, damage inflicted, plus the strike cards, plus 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 minus self restoration. Very annoying. He starts out with gauge at 100%, and this is what's not fun. Uh, like, what do you say when there's a defeated enemy? No. Fuck all of that. Where is it? He starts out 100% gauge. And he can do this. You try to strike card him, and he gets a free ultimate, restores health, restores vanish gauge. Goes type neutral on damage. Double card draw speed. There's more. And then I think he draws a green card for some reason or whatever. He restore he reduces your key. Reduces Dragon Ball. This is post Dragon Ball update. So it's already hard to get Dragon Balls without you like unless you're Ooga Booga with your characters so they have bullshit cover no. He has a Rose effect where he stacks his ultimate. I see Rose has three ultimates. Yeah, I just remembered that. Rose <laughs> yeah, Rose was a Ooga Boogie. Yeah, Rose was really a Ooga Boogie unit. But he has an AoE green card that inflicts all enemies with extreme bleed. So 
he's not fun to play against. And he also has the this right here. Um, I am actually still a big fan of Super, not uh, Dragon Ball Super Seventeen, with for having the support for the whole team with this. But I feel like not every character should have this now. It kind of like I just you know we was in the meta where like endurance was like not really a thing, but we're starting to get back to where like this is starting to be a problem. When you can't kill the best units in the game right now because they're all canceling each other's buffs, we need to like dial it back a little bit and release more units like Super Vegeta, but have them a little bit more tanky, like um, Android 16. Give them tankiness if they're not going to have all the bullshit mechanics like an Ultra. Okay. That's the never. Uh, I could, I could care less. Fuck that unit. He is, he is, he, he's in a unit. Oh, all right. With UI Goku, here's where things get ridiculous right here. Actually, fuck it. We're also gonna talk about um this unit too. And this unit. <laughs> and this unit. <laughs> Don't worry. Who should I do first? Oh, you are Goku, cause and uh, oh wait, did it come out? I forgot. I I could care less. You know, go on. Um, this is this is all I'm seeing in Legends right now. These top, these top right here. Um, one, uh, two, what is three, four, five. This is all I see. Well, what was seeing. I can't get it. I can't get away. I can't get away at all. Legends decided to release a shitty update called Raiden Match Proud. Um, how can I explain Raiden Match Proud? Oh, I can explain Raiden Match Proud. This, 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 and this. That's all I saw. I didn't see nothing new. And if I did, it would be this, 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 and this. Oh, and um, who else would I would see, like, as a special, 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 special unit? This unit pisses by. It's something about Jiren that just finds a way to aggravate me. I feel like any game, like, like, it's been since the first, t like, green Jiren. I didn't have a team for him. Actually, I had a team for him. I just didn't have equipment to date. The equipment was trash, and the equipment system still sucks. But I can't, bro. This, 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 and this. They release a new game mode where all you, where you had to fight two sets, right? So all I was fighting was people who threw a team of this, 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 and this. What I will fight against would be Goku. Oh, Pan. Pan is an honorable mention, but she's Pan. Everybody knows about Pan. Pan's been a thing for... Okay, honorable mention. Pan and OG Beast. And occasionally this bum. And occasionally this bum. And no, I don't really fight against him. And I really... Oh, him too. I have my grievances with him, but I like him as a unit, but I, I can't... I couldn't play with him because the way how he doesn't work for my team the way my play style is he doesn't work for me so i never really use them i have them but i don't really like using him other people be cooking with him i don't know how they could do it i couldn't cook with him it's because of his key issues with me i like to drain my key and then swap and i never have a green card to like combo with because i just got through whooping ass with 17 so i never have a card and he doesn't like he doesn't draw keys, so I can't keep the combos going. Besides the point, Raiden Match Proud has literally all I play. Like, here's the setup: was Goku, Bardock, Beast, Pan, UI, Super Seventeen, Pan, or UI Super Seventeen, uh, Jiren, like, or UI Super Seventeen. Janemba, or I think Go, Go Gohan, yeah, Gohan came out towards the middle of that. So, 
literally, Gohan, UI Goku, Goku Bardock. That's all I was playing against. All I was playing against. I just wanted to, like, experience, like, fun, wacky stuff. That's all I usually do. And, you know, I understand, like, yeah, I'm deeper into the ranks. So I got to be more sweaty. So I swapped to my other team. And I thought to myself, wow, these teams do not get buff at all. Not a single buff. LOE. I tried running LOE with Goku Frieza. They got ass clapped because they're the newest unit besides uh, Yellow Frieza. And I didn't pull him because I didn't summon on the Evokin banner. Because I'm not really the biggest fan of them. I feel like they're not really a unit I really care. I would care for. I was more of a beast enjoyer. I still am. I enjoy Beast Gohan. I think Beast Gohan is like cool in terms of aesthetic wise of his moves. But I am. No, that didn't work at all. So I said, you know what? I'm going to swap. So, you know, uh, Super 17 drops. I use him. And I'm actually having fun again, you know? This is before Gohan drops. I'm like, okay. Um, Raiden Match Pro is very annoying, but you know, okay, we're we're, we're going in a in a decent direction. Super Seventeen is a very busted, broken unit. I'm not gonna ever, ever, ever not say that. But be real with y'all. Tell me, like, besides getting ass clap right by somebody that's like using the best shit all together. If you're playing against somebody that actually plays the game for fun. And they're using like wacky setups and stuff with 17. He's not really that big of a problem. You know, you can find a way to like stop him. But at the same time, he does get ridiculous when um, you're swapping too much. If you're not playing smart, this can happen. <laughs> this is all that happens. This can happen. This this is a thing. He comes in, draws it. This, this can happen. I promise y'all, he heals everywhere. And he takes away your healing. That can happen very bad. I will not front that. But. At the same time. This is what makes him ridiculous. This. Is very annoying. Very annoying. This counters beast. And um. Goku Barra sort of kind of. And this right here. Very annoying. And uh. What happened? Uh. This. I can say that's annoying. But my favorite mechanic about him is this. I actually like this. Where you can shut down somebody's like way of playing without having to Ooga Booga like the whole I don't know how to explain it. He's still Ooga Booga, but he can shut you down while also like getting in your head. I feel like it's a mind game at the same time, boy. Like he, he taps you, he steals your card, and he you know you could play a waiting game. Either A, you wait for your strike card to come back, you can try to blast armor through him, or you gotta like Actually I I see the mind game where you gotta try to blast and hope that he doesn't have that green card, but I, I he's a Ooga he's a Ooga unit. That's all I got to say. He has one ninety base. <laughs> it gets ridiculous. It gets ridiculous. Um where's the part where they when they're when they're switching? Um Oh my god. I've been yapping for the whole, I've been yapping for a minute. But <laughs> where is the where's the part when they switch? Um this right here. This gets ridiculous. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um if they keep switching, that's kinda their fault why they're taking all this damage. But at the same time, there is ways to like stop it. You just take the whooping and then you know, you swap to your character. But he he He's annoying. He's a very broken, annoying unit by himself. But I can I play through the meta. I can use I can win games against Super Seventeen without having to use him. It started getting ridiculous. Where this is what I was playing against: UI Goku Bardock. I have yet to really talk about UI Goku. <clears throat> now, Gohan makes me mad. UI Goku. Pisses me off beyond piss. <laughs> Why the fuck? Alright. Why when you're on the offense, you get punished? Okay? 
you get punished. He reduces your gauge for doing the ultimate trying to kill him. He goes type neutral when you do an ultimate. He restores health. Why are you restoring health? Like, bro, he already, all right, he already dodges. He's, they, they, they spend the whole time, UI Goku players spend the whole time dodging. He can break out of combos. Like, hold on. You must think I'm joking. This is normal dodge. Okay. <laughs> normal dodge. On receiving an enemy attack, consumes 30% of unique gauge to invade against. Why is that a thing? 30%. 30%. Why is it not a one time thing? I really wouldn't complain if it wasn't, if it was just a one time thing. Right? But well, why is it on <clears throat> blue cards? The main thing that you need to kill characters. Why is that a thing? Why can it not just be on strike cards? Or why is it like why is it on all of them? Okay, if it's not going to be on on um uh specials and 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 strikes, why not on? Uh, uh, green cards. Why you? Why on green cards does he have to count? It's not fun. It's not fun because it's a super hard carry mechanic. You're getting saved because the game, the creators of the game, are allowing for a character to break out of combos for free and punish you because you have no gauge. And yes, I said Broly was fun, but Broly didn't do that much damage, so it confiscated for him. He's a defensive unit. It says that on his kit. He is a defense unit. Let me pull him up. Let me pull up Broly. Um, defense unit. Where is it? Da 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 da. da, da. Oh, my bad. Melee. What? Really? He's melee. He's more of a defense unit. He really should be a defense unit. My bad. I take back my my aggression on that part. But he really should be a defense unit. <clears throat> okay, let's go. He breaks out of this, and like I said, all of the bullshit mechanics. This is annoying when he breaks out of it. Draws a special arts card next. This part? This? This. This. This is not fun. This is not fun. Whoever thought it is, I swear to God, I will kick you in the nuts. This, this, this is why I'm done. This is why I'm done with it. This is why I think there's no more hope until they release a unit that seals gauge. Okay? Okay? This is why I think that this is why I'm done. Because UI Goku has this. You cannot switch against him. So imagine you try to switch. Either A, guess what? You die, or either B, you die. Okay? Or you pray to God that he runs out of cards and key. It's not fun. He already does a fuck ton of damage. So he 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 literally he literally just, bro, he literally hits a free ultimate for you trying to dodge. And I, you know, at first I was like, oh my god, you know, that's fucking annoying. It's like Janemba, but you you try to stop it, you could probably switch to your red unit. No, imagine you having your purple unit after getting like, what's the word, um, combo by fucking, I don't know, some bullshit unit. And you like oh oh Goku Bardo right here. You get combo by Goku Bardo. They switch the UI. You try to dodge it after like trying to switch or some shit. After waiting for the cover node to run out, and bam, UI Goku out of nowhere because uh, uh they they have sub count manipulation or something like that. I forgot what they do. That unit pisses me off too. Um, and you get hit with an ultimate. <sighs> Very fair and balanced, bro. Very fair and balanced. He has two different ways of dodging. He has he, he, he has a combo breaker. He sits there and bullshits and dodge. He has cover no. 
he 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 punishes you for being on the offense three times or or two different types of ways. Um he locks you in and 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 fucking ass fucks you with his fucking ultimate. And it's the fact you can come it's not it's not it's not the fact that it's just a a a a a, a like a, if it was like sub count right it probably it's still bad but it's, it would be like less bad okay yeah i was running a character that doesn't have sub count down on when i'm getting hit no switching you get hit with it and you can't take it he stacks damage he stacks damage so this is already not fun and he restores health all over the place it's not fun it's not fun. This is not fun. All of this, like, all of UI Goku is not fun. Fuck that unit. I don't want to look at him no more. Gohan. <laughs> no, I'm saving him for... Oh, he's, he's the cream of the crop. He's the cream of the crop. I already went over here. I gotta go over him again. Beast. Beast. Beast, 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 beast. Oh, my God. Beast, Gohan, UI Goku. I mean, yeah. Beast, Goku, Bardock, UI Goku. A very fun team to play against, you know, during the whole um, Legends Fest, all the way up until when Super 17 and Gohan drop. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, he restores health. Okay, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. You know what the fun part about Beast Gohan is? You wanna know what the fun part is that um he builds his gauge up teammates and i thought hey you know that's not really so bad right actually it is because you have ui goku goku bardock who's healing all over the fucking place and um that's kind of the reason why i like super 17 because you need to find a way to stop this bullshit right i actually give super 17 his props because there's too much healing in the game right now you can't kill nobody unless you're running the best shit and not everybody can run the best shit because nobody either a they don't get lucky or they don't have the tangible funds for it and i understand this is a game to make money but oh my fucking god bro chill the fuck out with that shit okay <clears throat> you ready when his cage is filled destroys no no this imagine imagine you're not having a blue unit Actually, it don't even matter if you have a blue unit. Imagine after a nice, long, drawn-out game of Dragon Ball Legends, you had to play against a Beast Gohan. And fuck all of this shit. He, 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 he hits fucking hard. And I enjoy him. I love Beast Gohan. But oh my god, this is the worst designed unit I have ever seen. And OG Beast was annoying. Well, OG Beast had ways to stop him, okay? Okay, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. This shit is. F oh my god. He restores ally health. He's type neutral damage wise. So you can't hurt him. And he's healing. And don't forget about this. He does this. He does this. He does this. He cancels buffs. He cancels buffs. You can't you, you, you can't kill him for real. So imagine this now. You you try to rush Beast. You swap they swap to Gohan. And he has endurance. Bam, he heals. Bullshit. You can't do anything. You just wasted a rush. Goku Bard up. And they just fucking go unbreakable. That that that's that's what I'm talking about. Okay. That's not it. This is just base. He draws a a, a a a blue card. This resets when he transforms. You want to know what his blue card does? Oh, my bad. He restores Vanishing Gage three times. This restarts too. And he increases Dragon Balls. So he can rush you every time. Right? Here's the fun part. I understand he's an LF, so I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I care about this. He he draws so many green guards that he can he can he can 
he can literally just 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 blue card you so many times. He force draws a blue card and he has type he, he has cover null, right? For no reason, just for resisting. Like like yes, just throw it on there. It restores health. Health everywhere. You wanna know his uh blue card does? It it, it it takes away your health restoration. So imagine this. He pops two blue two green cards, bam, sixty percent gone right that you can't heal. And he hit a little bit and he destroys your special card, so you can't do anything. Wow. Free damage everywhere. He, he blood armor everywhere. And I think to myself, you know, this is like that's why I say I thought to myself, hey, the the Gohan mechanic would be pretty fun. But I thought this was either a a like I said, a character specific move where only Gohan will have it. And I thought to myself, hey, that would be hella toxic. But I did not expect for Gohan to be this fucking busted, you know? I th I pictured Gohan to be like a combo starter slash tank. I didn't expect for him to be the fucking game, you know? I didn't expect for him to play the whole game for you, okay? That's all I got to say. Or I thought it was like very specific to like strike cards or, you know, stuff like that. You, you can blast armor through all the bullshit, but it's... Whatever, whatever, whatever. I think I said it. Okay. This is annoying. This, this, this is all annoying. This is all annoying because Last Man Beast is the worst thing to ever play against the game. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Last Man Beast or Last Man Gohan is very annoying. But it's, 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 it's not as bad as all of them paired up. This unit aggravates me. Um, this is what. I think what is killed legends for me really like getting there is having to play against two AoE green card units, a lock in you can't hit character. Gohan has AoE. Goku Brother has AoE. They have cover no everywhere. They fucking fo don't they force draw a a a a a ultimate? I mean a blue card or whatever. Or am I tripping? Or they just happen to just always have a blue card for no reason because. Why not? Because when I play against this unit, they have like six blue cards. They just chucking them at me for no reason, and I can't do anything about it. It's very annoying. I really thought that um. So when I saw this unit, I thought to myself, "Hey, you have to actually play the game to like work with them." But no, 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 no. They threw this on for shits and giggles. So and they have a very like unique mechanic. I give them props to it. But at the same time, um, why the fuck does it lock you? Why does it lock in? Why does this game punish you so bad for wanting to play, bro? Like, yes, yes, yes. They have freaking, um, Unbreakable. Let me, like, drain my cards or something, bro. Why do I have to be locked in and get hit with a fucking blue card to, to, to prove a point? Like, it's not, bro, I can't do that. Like, where is it? Where is it? Um, this, this, is this right here. Destroys enemy cards, reduce the enemy key by 50%, no switch for five timer counts. This is not fun. That's not fun at all. It makes me want to go sit in a corner or something and, and reflect on my life. I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I can't do it, bro. Um, this is all annoying. Everything about them is annoying. This is annoying. I actually never really cared. It's very annoying. All of it is annoying. Super annoying. Go on. It's the cream of the crop. Blue card. AOE green card. <laughs> Sub count. Very fun, very fair and balanced. Damage, very fair and balanced. He has double ultimate, very fair and balanced. <laughs> His blue card is a counter, and it does a lot of fuck ton of damage. Very fair and balanced. He stacks damage. Oh my god, when you hit him, he reduces key. Oh my god, every time, bro, he restores health, and he can do it twice. 
when count <laughs> when you counter him, he destroys all of your cards. And he reduces the ally sub counts by five. So picture how he works with Goku Bara UI Goku. Wow, very like fair and balanced. Um This This is very fair. The most fair thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. If this yes, one of the following states, da 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 special move or ultimate. He can do this three times. And he force like I think I said it, but he force draws another ultimate. And he also has this new me unique mechanic. This is what I expect on units from now on. I actually enjoy it. But at the same time, you cannot have all these fucking defensive mechanics and let him combo you off of it. It's not fair. And I understand this game is not meant to be taken serious, but come on now. Y'all know damn well if people was not taking this game serious, this game would have been died. Years ago. Okay? <clears throat> he has the mechanic I don't like. When you have to hit somebody, they have cover. No. I don't like that mechanic. Because it's very cheesy. He has 220. <laughs> he has two. He has, two, he, has, he has 220 base. He nullifies endurance. I, I can see that being less, man. I, I really could care less about this sometimes, but I tell y'all, the fact that it's a thing is it's just very annoying. And he can um, store his gauge pretty much easily when he's last man, I think. Something like that is somewhere in the kit. I really don't feel like seeing this. And um, the fun thing about it, instead of like his gauge just going down by itself as fast as it's supposed to be, Gohan can recharge his gauge. He can recharge his gauge, so he can just bully you. Um, so yes, yes, yes. I'm done with Legends. I gave up on this game. Um, there's currently no hope for saving this game right now. I have a very well tanked, very well, not tanked up, but well out account. It's very fun. I enjoy everything. I was actually having fun, you know, towards the end, running around with Super 17. Uh, I was really doing Android 17, uh, 17, 18, uh, Gamma's, Cell, all that random ass bullshit. Having fun, you know, actually enjoying the game. But all of this this super 17 is 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 a beast this 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 I, all the game planned for you is really really killed my vibe this release more units like super saiyan 4 gogeta um he's actually the reason why i literally like if i did not get him zenkai 7 i probably would have like i literally was debating on like hopping off for a while but I managed to pull a copy of him, and I actually, that's literally all I've been, you know, having fun doing. Running him with, um, Super 17 of Vegito. Because I, I like Super 17, but I really don't want to run him the whole time. And that's like, why? Why? And I, I, I thought to myself, why am I having to be forced to run the best shit all day? It's not fun. And yes, I can win with the weaker shit. But at the same time, I gotta try 50 times harder. When I get rushed, I'm dead. They fucking do one card. I, I can hit them the whole time, and I still lose. Okay? It's not fun. It's not fun. It's not easy trying to combo no more. Because the characters I, I want to have fun with are strike units. And it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And there's not many blast units in the game that can actually do a lot of damage. So yes um legends has lost me for the rest of this uh time i will no longer be playing for a while this is probably like i'll probably make legends videos you know talking about stuff and debating uh cooler has a unique equipment i literally was saying hey i'm gonna come back when they drop it but i seen it it's kind of shit um i think it's in items um where is the cooler equipment? So many equipments in this game, bro. Oh my god. Oh my 
god, bro. It's so many. It's so many equipments, bro. Um, Zamasu, Gohan, 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 UI, Frieza. Where's the cooler equipment? Oh. Um. Shit. I, uh, wait, did it get updated in the files? Let me see. Just to be sure, because I be I be hella blind. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Unless it didn't drop. Unless it's in that data mines, I think. It should still be here somewhere. But the cooler equipment, from what I remember, is like he has 90% damage, um, 80% defense, 25% cut, or something like that. And he reduces enemy key by 30% when he drops in, and he has car draw speed, or something like that. Um, I feel like I'm literally staring at it, but I'm not staring at it at the same time. Um, <sighs> Legends, bro, please do something. I just want to have fun again. I really just want to have fun. I just want to hop on and have fun. Like, I like whooping ass, but boy, I tell you, every game feels like I lost a bit of my sanity and... I, I can't I couldn't keep it up I can't keep it up anyways y'all um that's the end of this video I pretty much went on for an hour um I hope y'all enjoy this and make sure y'all like comment and subscribe see y'all later peace